with us, pun entirely intended. Uh, we're not having you on here uh, because Britain's naturous industry is booming. Yes, one of the more unexpected consequences of the pandemic. Over the last two years, thousands of Brits have cast aside their clothes to live a better life. Yeah, and that's just what Helen Berryman did in lockdown. And now she happily joins us with her husband, Simon. I hope he's not too happy at the moment, along with married friends Fiona and Michael, <laughs> enjoying life uh, without their clothes on. Yes. There you go, adults naked, no biggie. Yes, no, no biggie. biggie at all. They're all joining us from one of Britain's most popular naturist camps, the Naturist Foundation in Kent. Good morning to you all. It's it's lovely to see you. Good now this morning. Good morning. morning, morning. I have to tell you, as we just we, we just spoke about then, you know, what's it like? What's it like living nude and that being your thing? I have to say, Helen, you all look very happy. Yeah. We are. we are very happy. <laughs> no stress, no washing. What's not to like? <laughs> are, are you happier yeah. naked, weather, Helen? What's better? Is well, life, life happier definitely. naked? I've got to worry about what to wear. Definitely, definitely. No worries whatsoever. <laughs> okay. So, so for you, this kind of... I mean, look, a lot of us over the pandemic, we, you know, re-evaluated our life and what it was that made us tick. Maybe going to work less, maybe having more time, whatever that was for you. But, Helen, this, that's yeah. where kind of this kicked off, right? You didn't have a love of nudism, naturism before that. So talk to us of what happened and when did you have that light bulb moment over the pandemic? The epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, my husband, um, when I first met him, he introduced it as a clothing optional. Um, and I sort of disregarded it and thought, you know, as long as it doesn't affect me. Um, but I would insist that he would cover up when I was around. Um, but then, um, to cut a long story short, I was furloughed from work and it was really hot. And um, I got used to seeing Simon without his clothes on. And um, eventually I bought a bikini and I thought, well, let's, let's try this bikini thing. <laughs> hadn't worn a bikini in 20 odd years because, you know, just didn't want to show my body off or anything like that. Um, and Simon got us involved in a, a normalising nudity project and asked if I would take part as a clothed model at a life drawing class. So all the naked people would be drawing me. Um, and so saying, I did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I went yeah, along on, on, the, on the understanding that I would keep my dress on. And it was at a naturist venue. At so. a naturist venue, yeah. yes. Um, and I got used to seeing all the other people <laughs> without their clothes on. And about an hour into the shoot, I eventually got my dress off. And nothing happened. The world kept turning and <laughs> nobody batted an eyelid. And, you know, everyone just carried on drinking their coffees and chatting. And I was like, well, this is unremarkable. <laughs> and I just made some really good friends. I met these two that day as well. Yeah, and that's we, us. We're yeah. guilty. So, so, Fiona and Michael, yeah, you were already so you're already into, into this, right? You were doing it before you met Helen and Simon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've been doing it for 20-odd years. So, um, for us, it's nothing new. Um, and, and our experience was when we first went um, abroad on holiday to Greece, uh, and we went what is called a textile beach, which means people that wear clothes. Mm. And it was very, very packed and very busy. But if we walked around the corner a little bit further, there's a lovely little cove with two other couples on it, and they were completely naked. So we decided to sit there and think, why do we have a go? Wait and see. It's absolutely amazing, and we haven't looked yeah. back. Yeah, yeah swimming yeah. naked and is one of life's great that. joys, isn't it? I swimming mean, naked yeah. is... Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. That's the best. I haven't That's worn the a same. swimming costume yeah. The other people in the, 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 the local pool don't, know, don't like it so much. <laughs> yes, there's a few complaints. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 If you go early in the morning, they don't call the police. Simon, this is something that, obviously, as Helen touched on before, this was something that you were already into, you know, for a long time. Is there something... Because I... Like, I suppose, Helen first touched on, you know, she'd not done the bikini thing for a while. Mm. I think as sometimes as a woman, your body comes with maybe lots of different insecurities. Does this make you feel super yeah. body confident? Oh, absolutely. I mean, it actually builds confidence mm. being naked. Um, you learn to appreciate both yourself and other people. And um, accept... You don't have to like everything, but you just learn to accept... Yeah 
yourself yeah, the way you yeah, are and the way everybody what else is. Got, what you are. And yeah. as a result, you know, naturists, you'll never meet a, a, a less judgmental group of people. You know, every, this everyone's is, welcome. Yeah. This is why we're all so happy, really, because yeah. ev <laughs> everyone just gets on with everyone else. Yeah. It's just yeah. automatic Mood friendships. Yeah. 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 It, it, you, you can't walk into a naturist venue and sit by yourself. People will talk to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you you're in a naturist <laughs> venue at the moment, mm -hmm. um, Michael, but maybe... We are. We're, yes, a, bit, we're, at, we're a bit fanar fanar about it, aren't we? I think that's the whole thing and we're maybe a little bit I know I am you get yeah. a bit childish well, about I, it all well but I even like running you know, from like the bar when, I, when I've forgotten something in the hallway and I run to the bathroom I do that I don't yeah. you know just in, in my own home I'm just not someone that would Why? Sit. <laughs> I, don't, yeah. I don't know Simon I don't know what the answer to that is but I can't imagine yeah. I wonder how it's it gets to the body. point where you're comfortable yeah. Yeah. In your own home, and then Society's you start to think, let's like do it that. with other people, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you build mm. up, and then. You, you certainly know. build up confidence in your own home, yes. Yeah, yeah, because, yeah, yeah. because, I mean, you know, society has taught us that we have to cover up and that it is either funny or disgusting, you know, yeah. and it, it, this whole for half and half thing, it, you know, it's not helped by the fact that we're having to sort of keep ourselves really covered and be careful here, mm. you know. Um, well, it's a summer holidays. It's a summer and, uh, holidays and we don't know. It's a family show, so yeah. we've, we've, got, we've got to play I'll say come back, in, come back in September, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. Uncross the legs in September. I'm not getting naked when it's cold, pal. <laughs> See, I'm doing it now. No, I can't help it. It does. It does. No, no. You know, when it's cold, we put something on. And you know. That's an important point. You know, yeah, we're, we're not we're not belligerent about being naked. No. no. You know, no. if it's cold, we put clothes on. Although yeah. nature's yeah. dress sense does leave a little bit to be desired. <laughs> I mean, so so Helen, <laughs> Helen, ultimately, this really has sort of been a story about you finding yourself and getting to that place in your life that you feel really comfortable with, which which I'm happy for you for, because that's, you know, that's, it sounds like yeah. a... Yeah. Do what makes you happy. Yeah, absolutely that. Yeah. Um, yes, I think all I mean, of us, it's, it's the same. It was We've all changing, changing, wasn't it? Yeah. It was very changing. Yeah. There's not a single person who can't be naturist, who can't be comfortable with their body. Anyone can do it. Yeah, you've literally just got to take those first steps. You just need you know. a body. Yeah. <laughs> and, and also, that, sorry Simon to interrupt, but also there's so many health benefits to it as well. It's not yeah. just about, you know, body acceptance, it is about the health Being benefits. aware of your body and, yeah. and listening to it when it's you know, yeah. going wrong. The best line we always hear from people who've done it is, why didn't I do this 20 years ago? Yeah. Why didn't I Absolutely. not do this? Yeah. And they've just never looked back at all. You've just got to suspend your own disbelief long enough yeah. in order to, to yeah. let, let yourself... Walk, walk from the bathroom to the bedroom naked. Stand in front of the mirror and look yeah. at yourself yeah. naked. Yeah. Make a cup of tea before hey. you have a shower. Yes. Oh, I don't know. We were, we were born that, that way, so why not stay that way? It's Good true. luck to you all. I hope you have a great yeah. summer exactly. there. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Well Thank done. Great Oscar Wilde Thank quote, you. isn't it? Great Oscar Wilde quote. If I was, <laughs> I was born naked, you know, if God wanted to be naked, we'd be born that way. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're right. Have Thank a great you very time. much. Take care Thank yourself. you. All the best. I mean, it's, it, it's probably worth flagging. You're a, lot, you're a lot cuter when you're born naked, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> you yeah, start correct. off quite cute. I don't know. I thought Simon had a little glint about him. I just... I just think it's one step too far for me. Yeah. It's the other people thing. Yeah. Just chilling in the back on I, the park I, bench. Also, <laughs> I can't even eat with my top off. What? I, d I just find it a bit kind of, you know, so I like, OK, didn't mean to go there. <laughs> I, I, yeah, <laughs> eating, I'd have to put clothes on to eat. Yeah? Yeah, because you if you drop stuff and I just can't... Yeah. Yeah.